China's rover made important discoveries concerning water and past habitability on the planet, paving the way for future human missions to Mars. Welcome to Space News Unfold. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and stay till the end of this video, because there are some secrets of Mars that have been discovered, so we're going to talk about them. China's space program took a major leap, when it successfully landed the Zhurong rover on Mars, marking the country's first landing on another planet. Teams will roll the rover off onto the dusty Martian surface, to begin a mission to search for evidence of water, and hints of past alien life. The touchdown makes China the second country in history to deposit a rover on the surface of Mars. After months in orbit around the Red Planet, the Tianwen-1 spacecraft released the Zhurong rover for a landing in Utopia Planitia, a vast plain that may once have been covered by an ancient Martian ocean. The 529-pound rover, survived a perilous descent to the surface, including atmospheric entry, slowing from supersonic speeds with a parachute, and finally using retro rockets to safely alight on the ground. Named for an ancient Chinese fire god, the 529-pound Zhurong rover, is similar in size to NASA's Spirit and Opportunity rovers, which landed on the Red Planet in 2004 and sent back exciting images and data about the planet's surface conditions. Successfully descending to the surface of Mars is, an extraordinary challenge. Before today, only NASA had safely landed and operated spacecraft on the Martian surface. In 1971, the Soviet Mars 3 lander transmitted half of a photo before falling silent about 100 seconds into the mission. By landing and roving on Mars, China jumps ahead of a number of spacefaring peers. The Zhurong rover made it through the so-called seven minutes of terror, the time from atmospheric entry to landing on the surface. The CNSA, also known as the China National Space Administration, could only watch the autonomous landing unfold from nearly 200 million miles away, so far away, that it takes 18 minutes to receive a signal from Mars and hope everything went to plan. Zhurong sat attached to its orbiter companion, encased in an aeroshell, designed to protect the vehicle on its way through the Martian atmosphere. After it was released and endured a fiery atmospheric entry, a huge parachute was deployed to further slow the rover's descent. Then a landing platform holding the rover, fired up rocket engines to make the final descent to the surface. A laser range finder and 3D scanner provided altitude and terrain data while cameras were used to autonomously choose a place to land. Mars is significantly harder to land on than the moon, says Michel Blanc. But China has had a series of successful lunar missions that prepared it for a Mars landing. Change 4, history's first landing on the lunar far side, required high technological capacity and artificial intelligence and autonomous hazard avoidance. As well, the rocket engines on Zhurong, are similar to those China used to safely land three spacecraft on the moon. Those technologies, along with the supersonic parachutes China has used to return astronauts from Earth orbit in space capsules, set up CNSA to pull off a Martian touchdown. Landing safely on Mars is a huge challenge, especially for China's first soft landing attempt, said Long Xiao, a planetary scientist at the China University of Geosciences. But it is a necessary step for Mars and deep space exploration. China is the second nation, after America, to successfully put a probe on the surface of Mars and operate it for a significant length of time. Chinese scientists hope to get at least 90 Martian days of service out of the six-wheeled robot at its location on Utopia Planitia vast terrain in the planet's northern hemisphere. Recently, China's Yutu-2 rover has spotted a mystery object on the horizon while working its way across von Karman crater on the far side of the moon. What do you think that the mystery object could be? Let me know in the comments down below. Yutu-2 spotted a cube-shaped object on the horizon to the north and roughly 260 feet, that's about 80 meters away in November during the mission's 36th lunar day, according to a Yutu-2 diary published by Our Space, a Chinese-language science outreach channel, affiliated with the China National Space Administration. Our Space referred to the object as a mystery hut. A team of scientists have expressed a strong interest in the object, and Yutu-2 is now expected to spend the next two to three lunar days traversing lunar regolith and avoiding craters to get a closer look. A lunar day is equal to about 27 Earth days. As the lunar rover made a closer approach, a log of its activities revealed the object was actually just a rock on a crater rim. Once Jurong's six wheels roll off the landing platform, and onto the Martian dust, the rover expanded its foldable butterfly-like solar panels, and explored the area for a primary mission lasting three months. The vehicle could work well beyond this conservative goal, however, the solar-powered Spirit and Opportunity rovers had primary missions of about 90 days, and they each ended up exploring Mars for years. 
Utopia Planitia, thought to be the site of an ancient sea, has sedimentary layers that could contain evidence of past water. Even more exciting, these layers of rock would contain traces of any past alien life on Mars, because the pre-selected landing site is close to an ancient ocean shoreline and distinct from others, the science data will uncover more secrets of Mars scientists of China said. The site complements the research being carried out by NASA's Curiosity and Perseverance rovers in the ancient lakes of Gale and Yezero craters, respectively, head adds. The Jurong rover carries a suite of six instruments. A pair of panoramic cameras, and a multispectral imager will provide information about the terrain and its composition. While an instrument with a laser will vaporize rocks to analyze their makeup, similar to the laser spectrometers aboard Curiosity and Perseverance. A magnetometer will measure magnetic fields in tandem with an instrument on the orbiter, and a climate station will measure the local atmosphere, temperature, pressure, wind, and sound on Mars. One of the most exciting instruments aboard on the rover, is a ground-penetrating radar, which will be used to search for pockets of water or ice below the surface. Head notes that NASA's Viking 2 lander, which set down in a region slightly north of Jurong's landing site in 1975, imaged fascinating phenomena including ice contractions and frosts on the surface of Mars, and polygon pattern terrain, which may have been created by contractions of subsurface ice with changing seasons. Is there microscopic alien life on these water or ice areas on Mars? Scientists can't be certain whether the water that altered these rocks was present for tens of thousands of years or for millions of years. But they are growing increasingly certain it was there long enough to welcome microscopic life. What are your thoughts about this? Leave a comment down below. Rock samples on Mars reveal a potentially habitable sustained environment that existed on the planet, meaning alien life could have too according to scientists. Salt spotted within these rocks, are suspected to have formed when groundwater flowered through the original minerals of the rocks, or when liquid water evaporated. NASA hopes that the salt minerals have trapped tiny bubbles of ancient Martian water, which could serve as microscopic time capsules, as salt minerals are known to preserve signs of ancient life on Earth. Jurong's ground-penetrating radar will ping the surface with two different frequencies and pick up echo data from layers below, peering down to 33 feet, to search for ices or briny waters underground. China will openly share the Mars data from Tianwen-1 and Jurong the same way it has shared data from its lunar exploration missions, benefiting planetary scientists around the world. The mission will also set the stage for China's next planned voyage to Mars, an audacious sample return attempt scheduled to launch around 2028. Beyond Mars, the country has plans to launch a Jupiter probe, including a possible landing on the moon Callisto, to collect samples from a near-Earth asteroid, and to send a pair of Voyager-like spacecraft toward the edges of the solar system. Tianwen-1 and Zhurong are great for studying Mars, and basically the unknown universe, stimulating the scientific enthusiasm of young people, stimulating the creativity of the whole country, enhancing the ability to explore the unknown, and expanding the living space of humanity. Tianwen-1 is likely to be able to explore and detect any subsurface snow and ice using its payload. Such pockets of ice could prove valuable for future crewed missions, and any pockets of water or brine, shielded from radiation on the surface, may provide habitats for simple life forms. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next Space News Unfold.